Hello, and welcome to the Vanderburg County 4-H program. My name is Megan Hofer, and I'm the 4-H Youth Development Extension Educator here in Vanderburg County. I am so glad that you've chosen to be a part of the 4-H program. I know there's a lot to learn when you get started in 4-H, so I wanted to put a quick video together to help you be successful. And I want you to know that I'm always here if you have questions or need help getting started in 4-H. So let's get started. The Indiana 4-H Youth Development mission is to provide real-life educational opportunities that develop young people who will have a positive impact in their communities and the world. And we strive to be the premier community-based program empowering young people to reach their full potential. 4-H has been around for over 100 years and has grown into the largest youth development program in the nation. In fact, there is a 4-H program in every state and a 4-H program in every county in Indiana. We're so glad you've chosen to be a part of it. One way that we accomplish our mission and vision is through 4-H projects. 4-H projects are interest areas that you want to learn more about. So you'll build skills through hands-on learning in projects. Here are some of the projects that we have. We have aerospace, crafts, foods, computer, scrapbook, sewing, veterinary science, animal projects, collections, sports, recycling, photography. In fact, we have over 70 different project areas. So there's absolutely something for everyone. And you can do as many projects as you'd like. Most people will choose to exhibit their project at the fair, and it's a great way to showcase the skills that you've learned in that project. And many of the projects exhibited at the fair will go on to compete at the Indiana State Fair. We also have 4-H clubs. The purpose of a 4-H club is to provide positive youth development experiences to meet the needs of young people in our community. Most clubs will meet once a month outside of school hours. And at 4-H clubs, you'll learn life and leadership skills. You'll get to meet youth from all around the county. You'll get to participate in community service projects. You'll learn many different programs, and it's a great way to have fun. Club meetings are led by 4-H youth leaders, and they're supported by 4-H volunteers. There are a wide variety of clubs. Some are general and some are project-based. Some are smaller, some are larger, and they meet at a variety of days and times. So it's easy to find a club that fits your schedule and your needs. We have a list of all the 4-H clubs and their meeting times on our website. We also have a wide variety of activities throughout the year that youth can participate in. One of those activities is 4-H camp. This is a very fun opportunity for youth in grades three through six. We travel to the historic Santa Claus campground in Santa Claus, Indiana every June for three days of fun-filled camp. Some of the activities at camp include boating, swimming, archery, campfire, crafts, recreation, and just so many fun activities. Camp is led by 4-Hers in grades 9 through 12 that serve as caring role models for younger youth and are supported by 4-H volunteers and extension educators. We also have several 4-H trips for youth in grades 7 through 12. A few of these trips are to Purdue University to learn more about career opportunities and to dive into specific career paths to see if they're right for you. We even have a trip to Washington, D.C., where you can learn more about the value of civic engagement and learn more about our nation's history. And we have a lot of contests in 4-H. For instance, we have the Performing Arts Contest, where you can showcase your talent, whether individually or as a group. We have a speech and demonstration contest where you can share your communication skills. We have a tractor contest where you can drive a tractor or a lawnmower through an obstacle course and test your knowledge. We have a robotics contest where you can share your STEM skills. We have a barbecue contest, which is quite delicious. You can share your culinary skills. And we have many career development events throughout the year, such as soils judging, livestock skill -a -thon, and more. In addition, we have many 4-H workshops throughout the year. They're often project-based or general workshops to help you learn and build on your skills. In the 4-H program, we have a lot of opportunities to win awards. Some such awards are scholarships for college or post-secondary training, 
Some are county awards or achievement awards given at our annual achievement banquet that are based on your participation in 4-H throughout that year. We also have ribbons and project awards for our 4-H projects at the fair and for our county contest. And we have trip sponsorships, just to name a few. And one of the favorite activities for 4-Hers is the fair. The Vandenberg County Fair is held every year in the last full week of July. The fair is such a fun-filled week and projects and animals are on display and 4-Hers can participate in a lot of fun activities throughout the week, get to know other people from around the county and get to see all of their hard work on display. Our main goal in 4-H is to help you learn life skills. These are skills that benefit you now and throughout your life. And we want you to learn leadership skills. So learn how to be a, a leader in your club and your community, and also how to have positive communication skills so that you can work with people of all backgrounds. And of course, we want you to have fun and build friendships in 4-H. So you may be wondering, how do you find out about all of these activities? Well, we have several different ways. Our main form of communication with 4-H families is through email. So be sure to check your email regularly. We also will mail some things throughout the year, like important forms. We also have our link newsletter. This is our monthly newsletter that lets you know about all the 4-H happenings and changes and updates. And we post a lot of our events on Facebook. So if you're a Facebook user, be sure to like our page. The 4-H online system is where you'll enroll in 4-H and where you can choose your projects. And this is where um, we send our emails. So the emails will come from 4-H online. And then the fair entry system is where you will enter the projects you bring to the fair. We also have our extension website, which is extension.purdue.edu slash Vanderberg. And we have a 4-H handbook. This is a great tool to help you learn all the guidelines that you need for exhibiting projects at the fair, and it tells you all about 4-H. We have an online version and we provide printed copies to each family every year. And most of our projects will have manuals that will help provide you with activities to help you learn skills in that project area. Most of all though, we're here to help you. Our extension office is always available if you have questions or need assistance. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 to 4.30 every day. There are many 4-H volunteers that are willing to help you. We have 4-H club leaders that can answer questions, and we have 4-H project superintendents. So if you have a question about a specific project, you can look up their phone number or email in the handbook, and they can help you with your project. And of course, 4-Hers can be a great resource as well. We have a great community in the 4-H program and we want others to be successful. So feel free to reach out to other 4-Hers for help. Be sure to check out our Welcome to 4-H guide for more details about 4-H. Feel free to stop by our office in Darmstadt. Visit our website at extension.purdue.edu slash Vanderberg. Give us a call at 812-867-4935 like our page on Facebook or email me if you have any questions or need help with any 4-H related topics. Again, thank you so much for joining the 4-H program and we can't wait to see what you'll accomplish in 4-H.